Hey guys, thought I'd update my video because the original one was pretty garbage as far as the audio quality and as far as the video quality itself. So I got a mount for my cell phone which takes much better pictures. That way I can use a tripod and I can actually video this. So since that video I have upgraded my caulking piece to a billet caulking piece which is much smoother from AD Arms. You can find these on Anarchy Outdoors. For like 65 70 bucks 65 bucks if you catch them on sale and the reason i did that the main reason is this is a metal injection molded part and it leaves these little circular mold lines in the caulking piece on one side and this particular injection mold mark is in a very high stress area and these like to break off there's a lot of guys that have had problems with them and especially if you decide to remove the caulking piece and firing pin by putting your screwdriver in on the top half, you'll have issues. I might break that off. So when you stick your screwdriver in, make sure and stick it in on the bottom so that you don't bust that weakened uh, part off right there on the top. Like I said, I can't recommend that billet caulking piece enough it makes the bolt run much smoother and it dropped my trigger pull weight by a quarter pound just installing that it's that much slicker to get the bolt apart you're going to line up the bottom of the caulking piece here this dovetail with the center of the stub of the bolt handle where it sticks through there to do that you just twist the bolt shroud a little bit don't go too far and line it up with the center and then your bolt shroud will slide right off if you go too far you'll go off this ledge right here and you'll have to take the back end of the caulking piece here grab it in a vise to get enough grip on it and pull out and twist it back to get it back on this ledge where it rides where it's supposed to so to get the caulking piece and the firing pin out like i said again go on the bottom not on the top but on the bottom stick the screwdriver into your hip and then gently wiggle that in to the bottom of the caulking piece and you'll feel it free up and it'll be able to rattle I'm going to go a little bit farther. Make sure and keep the center of the firing pin relatively in line. Kind of hard to see here. But you see how it's cockeyed just a little bit? See if you can get that to stay trued and centered to do that you pull out on it and it'll lock it in place and then after that you can slide it counterclockwise and pass the bolt until it's even with the bolt handle base here and it'll just slide right out give it a little wiggle to find the notch after that you can pull your bolt handle out and replace the bolt handle if you want and you can sand and polish and buff the bolt body to get it all slicked up get rid of that zipper sound to put it back together just the opposite slide that bolt handle back in make sure that this groove is towards the top stick your firing pin and caulking piece back down the hole at that same angle give it a little twist until it slides in twist it back until it's lined up with the stub of the bolt handle and then pull your screwdriver out now at this point if your caulking piece and your firing pin aren't quite lined up true 
like I just did there on purpose. Make sure and twist them until and pinch them until they're nice and lined up together. Otherwise the bolt shroud won't go back on when you go to stick it back in. It won't slide right on like that. You'll fight it and then twist the uh, bolt shroud and caulking piece until it clicks counterclockwise and that's it. The Ruger American and Predator bolt disassembly. If this video helped you out, hit a like and share it with your friends if they've got this rifle. Thanks for watching.